Well, this is the messy workbench inside here. Got some knives in the making. This is the uh, buoy competition blade here. If you watch that, kind of groovy. Need to make a sheath for it and put it up for sale, but got these uh, Puko style blades going here. And I just watched a short video that popped up on my feed of some channel uh, doing a real short review or just unboxing, I guess, of a $6,000 folding knife. And it's by some, I think, by some Italian maker or something. And, uh, you know, towards the end of the video, he says, the guy says, this is a collector's item. Nobody will ever use this, <laughs> which is absolutely true. Like, you buy a $6,000 folding knife with a mirror finish and titanium and meteorite and blah, blah, blah. It's not going in your pocket for an everyday carry. So that made me think, you know, so what makes what makes you tick as a maker or as a bladesmith or as a knife collector or user? Um, you know, what makes me tick is making little guys like these. You know, these will be, you know, affordable for a lot of people. Definitely nowhere near $6,000. And the goal with these knives and with almost all the knives that I make is to make a beautiful, reliable, functional, high-functioning using knife. And those last two words, using knife, are important because they're made to be used. Like, I want somebody to take this out, you know, once I get a sheath for it, pack it around, use it to whittle wood and cut steak, and, you know, you can dress out a deer and elk with this just fine, you know, cut cut feather sticks for the campfire, all that stuff. You know, that's that's why I make these. That's what makes me tick. And, uh, you know, I, I really just have zero interest in making a $6,000 folding knife, for example. Yeah, it's a mess. I need to clean this up. Same deal with the hatchets here. Like, these things, you know, they're more expensive than, than some out there. But it's because they're better. <laughs> um, I just had... Uh, I just sent one of these up to Idaho last month, you know, and uh, it was used on an elk hunt. And they, uh, you know, split open the, or split apart the pelvic bone and everything like that, chopped the legs off, whatever, the way they were field dressing, and, uh, you know, just breezes right through it. They're made to be used, they're made to function well at, at a price that, you know, most people can actually afford. So that's what makes me tick. What makes you guys tick when you're building something? Or when it comes to what you're buying from a custom blacksmith or bladesmith. I'm just interested to know. So anyway, appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you on the next video. Have a great weekend.